so guys, this is the Admiral Hipper, right? Great. We have a BF 109 C plane. My life is complete. Okay, so pretty much Admiral Hipper, one of the sexiest ships alive. But honestly, uh, the the uh, Deutschland, the Deutschland is still my favorite, uh, just because how streamlined it looked. But I love the Admiral Hipper as well. Uh, we have four uh, turrets of dual guns in each, eight inch caliber, 203 millimeter, with secondaries 105. God, those are the scariest. Those are like those are like Nazi uh, wonder weapons, just or like scare weapons. That thing. Oh. That could be on a robot and like stand up. Look, it has eyes. It already has fucking eyes and a nose. Okay, so our torpedo range is six kilometers. Fantastic. I love the KM torpedo launchers. They, 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 they just look pretty damn cool. And we have how many of those? Let's see. One, two. Okay, so we have six on each side, so that's good to know. Our anti-aircraft is pretty decent as well. We have uh, 10 single 20 mils. So these are the MG-151s. Probably not, but that'd be cool. Um, well, they're, they're Flak 38s. Okay, thank you, uh, Wargaming. Uh, we have the Flak Zvilin. I know, I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> God damn it, dude, that thing looks so scary. Uh, but not as scary as the, the, uh, the Beauforts, I'll, I'll tell you that. And then we have those alien weapons to back it up. Maneuverability is pretty decent, 32 uh, kilometer top speed, 32.3 to be exact. Turning circle is pretty wide, I think. Rotor shift time is decent, and concealability is a cruiser. So we're gonna get into this and see how we can do. We do have some points to um, upgrade on. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna buy any upgrades right now, just that's gonna take too long and be a little too tedious. We're gonna increase our hull, which will give us some more anti-aircraft and a little bit more maneuverability. That's kind of expensive. We might have to buy some more. Yeah, geez, these things get expensive up here. That's 20k? Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. Uh, and then now we're going to extend our range from 16.1 uh, to 17.1 kilometers at tier 8. So pretty normal range. We're going to buy that for 1.8 million. Okay. You guys ready? Here we go. Alright, here we go. The Admiral Hipper in her, god darn it, we got a lot of tier 10s and 9s. We're gonna get targeted. Does the Hindenburg, um, yeah, this is gonna be a hard match. I'm gonna have to hide. Um, the, the Hindenburg should have bigger caliber guns, right? Um, I think these things released to the public of Soon, I think then uh, I don't know how soon, but soon. Okay, here we go, guys. The Admiral Hipper. What a listen to the purr of the German Navy engineering. Look at the eight inch guns. Whoa, very fast moving eight inch guns. Those are phenomenal speed. Oh my gosh. MP, can you please kill your team so I can have fan? Okay, so we do have... I did not take my anti-aircraft bonus, which is my T. But we do have... Um, what's it called? Uh, the hydro... Ponic? A hydro for marijuana. Okay, I am not gonna go for D. I always get confused on this map a little bit of where everything is sometimes. Okay. Yo, Hutman, you, you you like me getting shaved, dude? Dude, that beard was disgusting. Yeah, hey, <laughs> don't shoot me. I have this is my first time in the. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, being yeah, we do have some good speed to get back with our teams though. Can't shoot these guys right now. Look at that range, that's phenomenal. But, but also the tier five Konensberg was phenomenal as well. Okay, we're gonna send some torpedoes out just for Michael Bay reasons. Oh, that's so cool. So, um, 
I don't know, I don't I don't know if this is like historically correct, but the German torpedoes were magnetically detonated. They didn't have to hit the target. Um, well, I'm sure a lot of torpedoes in World War II were like that, but the Germans were known for magnetic the detonation. The that makes sense. So they had they just had to be around a magnetic field and they would explode. So I wonder if they're going to implement that into war or into a world of warships at all. All right, here we go. Hello, sir. Welcome to the game. Oh, the velocity is literally insane. Yeah, I want to shoot that iceberg. We're, at, we're actually like number one in the fleet right now. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Incoming, turn out, turn out, turn out, turn out. That's gonna hurt. Ooh. Oof, Dene. Okay, over here we have an Izumo just out of range, but he's coming into range. Yeah, we have a stopped Iowa right there. Full broadside on him. Wow. Got a little accident going on here. I'm gonna shoot his bow if any of these things hit. He's reversing though. No hits on that. There is a Zhao, very dangerous opponent. We're gonna shoot high explosive on him. And now we're switching to the AP. God, I got so many far rounds coming in for me. Ooh, 4,000 damage. Look how fast that Zhao is. No hits right here. We got two. 1500 with a uh, over penetration. Oh gosh. Yo, Doc, man. Thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> MP! 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Why? <laughs> Why? You didn't even sit it on me, you just detonated me! <laughs> so, second game in the Admiral Hipper, we got magazined by MP. We do have, we do have a lot of turpits on our side, so, you know, we're gonna be kinda like, you know, cool and form, form up within this game. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Axe. Hi 369. Yeah, so if you guys hear ambient talking, I'm in the uh, I'm in the living room right now because I had to move my setup down here for like a powerhouse stream, but we never did the powerhouse stream. So I did move it back up to my room at the same time German ships just I was I was given German ships, so I was like Gotta stream now! I gave her the good old snap. Garb, what's up, man? Alright, so we have a turpits moving to the left. This is gonna kinda suck. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna form around. We're gonna go around with this, uh, these two turpits over by here, and then we should get some good for fleet formation sailing. Hang on, turning her around. Does Laura play any games? Yeah, she plays World of Warships every now and again, but she mostly plays Roller Coaster Tycoon. Here we go. Loading the AP. Don't know what I'm going to come up against real quick. God, the Otagos are just super scary. Holy crap. I'm trying to say hi to these guys in game right now, but at the same time, uh, I have to turn the ship. Well, I can, I can use Q, right? There we go. Okay. Off Q. There we go. Now, the gun rotation time is pretty good. The Mayoko, get out of here, son. Those are way too high of shots. Got pretty close, though. Splash damage. Like, whenever I see a Tago, I just want to kill him and, like, all his, like, all his friends around him. The go-to ships that I kill the first in the game are, like, Tagos and Mermans. Some 
good shots right there. Oh, ooh, 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 oof. Man. That is, that, those are some good shots, man. So we just hit, wait, wait, this is a, actually a Myoko. Same thing. So we just hit five hits on this. Myoko did no damage, but we just took a nice broadside from the right. We have, we, oh my gosh. We have Muchisukis and, uh, uh, Hatsuhuru. Oh, oh my gosh, this thing has a wh horrible armor. I just got double citadel from the rear. Ooh, the Admiral Hipper is not... I don't know about it. I could be just playing it bad, but at the same time, I'm angled away from the enemy and they're still able to hit my citadel pretty easily. Now we have no repairs at, uh... We have, we have no repairs at, uh, tier 8. Okay, here's an Ioba. I'll try to get some nice shots on him right here. Oof. The RNG is not with me today. Good shots on target. A little bit over. Oh. I'm having a hard time with the hipper today. So I'm gonna rotate out, rotate out. There we go. He's dead. Now we're gonna move on to the Aoba. Looks like I'm gonna turn around though with, with these guys. I, I don't want to turn around into the enemy because I'll definitely get citadel. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn back out to the uh, back of the map. Uh, Ewok says, "What's the rotate time of the 203?" It's very decent. I don't know the exact time, but it's 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 very good, and the reload is phenomenal as well. But not as good as the Des Moines. Even the Hindenburg has like, I think, a 12 or 11 second reload time. Okay, me and this turpets are going back to the B area. Full speed, please. List! List! Now, I don't know that that's the correct terminology. List? I, I believe someone told me it was different, but I like saying list. It fits well in my brain. Okay, we're gonna load the high explosive for this incoming uh, BBs here. We have two turpets in a Cleveland. They're about to have a little accident here, though. <laughs> Boink. That turpets will just come into range as my shells hit the hit the water. Hopefully, they're on target. There we go. 700 damage, I'll take it. Yeah. Those are incoming. Oh, look at those turpets. Oh. Hide the citadel. Oh. I don't know, man. Oh. Damn it. The glass cannon? The glass cannon? Um, because with... What I've noticed about the Admiral Hipper is that any shell that hits it does like 4 to 5k damage. And um, usually with like, you know, when I'm versing like a Des Moines or even a Cleveland, um, it, it does like 1,000 to 2,000 damage. 